people think about minivans, and the company no doubt felt that town and country was synonymous with mom jeans and regurgitated Cheerios. So the Pacifica badge was exhumed after a long dirt nap. You might recall that the name was attached to a three-row crossover a decade or so ago, one that could reasonably be considered as being ahead of its time no snickering, now as it was softer and more car-like when America was still obsessed with more truckish SUVs. But that Pacifica suffered from disappointing sales, and we'd question the wisdom of using its name if anyone outside of Chrysler even cared it existed. As for the TNC badge, we don't believe this means it's dead for good, prior to being applied to a minivan in the 1990s, it appeared on all manner of vehicle types over a 75-year run. So we wouldn't bet against town and country reappearing down the line as a trim level, special package, or perhaps a large crossover similar in philosophy to, uh, the original Pacifica. The key items to know about the new Pacifica are that it will be available in both conventional and plug-in hybrid versions, that it offers a ton of technology, including a rear entertainment system with twin 10-inch touch screens, and that Chrysler can't use class leading enough when describing the aerodynamics, NVH levels, ride and handling, interior volume, and a whole pile of other stuff. And with its dramatic styling, there's no way it will ever be mistaken for the milk toast original Pacifica. We particularly like the repeated use of what Chrysler refers to as a Mobius strip detail, it's most obvious in the way the chrome trim in the lower fascia wraps from one fog lamp to the other, and the overall look counts as positively outlandish as far as minivans go. As a whole, we like it.